We're back here at the NRA National Farms Museum here at NRA headquarters in Fairfax, Virginia. John Pop here with Phil Schreier, Senior Curator of the National Farms Museums. And Phil, we figured out so far, this is installment four of six, what I was able to figure out so far, these are all farms from the Peterson Collection, which by the way, when you get here, and you gotta get here to see this museum here, this collection that surrounds us is, is one of the premier collections of farms, treasures, eclectic stuff, Gatling guns to everything else that you, that you just, it's amazing collection. So I, I'm so glad we're dabbling in that collection, yeah. you know, these couple of weeks here. So what do we have for this week's installment of the Curator's Corner? Well, John, this week we have a, uh, another Peterson gun, obviously. Okay. Yep, so we yep. caught onto that. And uh, it's a beautiful 20 gauge over and under. Um, and it's made by uh, uh, Tony Galazan uh, up at Connecticut Shotgun Manufacturing in, in, uh, in Hartford, Connecticut. And it's, again, by today's contemporary you know, uh, manufacturers, this is the finest shotgun made in the United States. Uh, there's no finer gun actually crafted today in the United States. And some would say the world, uh, but we're safe saying United <laughs> States. Tony Galazin is a great guy, a magician, a master craftsman. And the engravers uh, that he has working up there at, uh, at Connecticut Shotgun Manufacturing are just the best in the field. And uh, this is an Italian uh, Petteretti, I believe is the pronunciation of the name. Forgive me if I got it wrong. Uh, and it's the uh, Bellino style engraving where everything is a little dot. Uh, like a pixels that make a, a picture that almost gives it a 3D you know, uh, viewing dimension. And this one is, uh, is pretty neat. There are a number of Britneys on here and uh, they, they, some great, uh, great scenes with uh, dogs and grouse. You can see the, the, uh, the little grouse oh, yeah. or the wow. pheasant in the grass. And then uh, if you look at all the different uh, you know, what we would normally say was vine and scroll, there's actually corn, ears of corn in here all over the place for the, uh, for the corn fields to, to do the, the grouse and the uh, pheasant. Wow. And there's a great, there's a nice big ear of corn, corn right there. Uh, so uh, get some butter and uh, some salt and pepper and we, we got ourselves a fun weekend hunting with dogs uh, going out in the fields. Some very interesting detail that you might upon a casual glance may overlook that you would uh, absolutely you would literally glance by it and think oh that's standard vine and scroll whatever uh cute little dog uh but vine and scroll so obviously corn cobs is not a continuing or reoccurring theme I've, I've got another i'm ready for my next guest you okay dogs dogs why would i pick dogs john <laughs> what is it about dogs currently <laughs> in your life I that just, would drive me oh. to, to pick up, up, up this, this yes. current theme. I'm a new dog owner. You're a uh, new my, dog my owner. My family's a new dog owner. His <laughs> name is George, and we love him. And I know you have dogs, too, and you love them. We were just talking about I that do. off camera. And, so. and knock wood, none of them have tried to cripple or maim me yet. Yes, <laughs> I know. I'm not wearing my brace, but here, give me my brace. I'll show everybody now. We'll do the big reveal. There for we this, go. This part. Uh, slipped on the ice, Phil, uh, walking my dog, and going to have surgery on this knee. Uh, coming up here in a few days, so yes, but I still love my dog. It wasn't his fault. George it wasn't was a great George's dog. fault. That's yeah. good. <laughs> so uh, I've, so I've enjoyed dogs. following George on Facebook with you, and I. Uh... George, George has is more popular than I am. <laughs> now here's the funny thing, and as just a quick aside, we'll get back to business this farm. My brother's name is George as well. Then we ran, we, we 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 adopted this dog. His name was already George, so he's George Pop. I, so now it's two George Pops, my brother George and our dog George. Ah, uh, well maybe you might get some mail misdirected. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> so, we got two levels. Peterson, dogs. But you say there's more. The dog the dog was the big uniting thing. Okay, the, cool. The other ones are coincidental. Oh, I love Peterson that. Peterson being the fact that they were all close together and Pete, obviously, as you can he see, loved. loved his dog. Yep, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, so there's just one, at least one, mi one more minor coincidental related thing, but we'll, we'll get to that next week. All but, right, so how can we come and see this beautiful shotgun? Well, you can see this along with a number of other dog-themed engraved shotguns at the, uh, or, or double rifles as it was in the one case, 
uh, here at the National Firearms Museum in Fairfax, Virginia. We're located right off Interstate 66 at the intersection of Route 50. We're open seven days a week, including most major holidays from 9.30 to 5. There's plenty of free parking and free admission as well. If you're in southwest Missouri or thereabouts, drop by and visit us at the National Sporting Arms Museum in Springfield, Missouri at the flagship store of Bass Pro Shops. Another thousand guns on display there. And if you can't hit us up off the interstate, visit us on the internet. We're there 24-7 at nramuseums.com. All right, two more left. And they're sitting over there off camera and they look very interesting. I'm excited. I'm, 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 I'm going to get those sub themes too. I'm, I'm ready now. So the brain is in fully engaged at this point, <laughs> Phil, as fully as it gets. Uh, we'll be back next week with another installment of the Curator's Corner here on Cam & Company on Sportsman Channel. Thank you.